all right so prior to this we talked about how mages use their magical energy to change the world that's around them well today i figured that we should talk about how this conversion goes down and what exactly is happening during this process now on a surface level magic circuits work like a nervous system the same way our nerves tells us to feel magic circuits provide us with the ability to cast our spells once they've been filled up with magical energy one of the biggest things to note is that these circuits do not reside on the physical plane the circuitry that we see on their bodies is just a physical expression to let the viewer know that they're putting their magecraft to use instead they are in fact attached directly to the master's soul so if you mess these up you got a lot more to worry about other than just not being able to use magic we saw a great example of this in the fourth holy grail war kiritsugu had a mystic code that was capable of completely annihilating magic circuits since kanif was using his magecraft to defend himself from kiritsugu's bullet all of this man's circuits ended up being destroyed and he turned this man into a muffin straight handicap action this is the type of extreme situations that you're talking about when you're dealing with these circuits so how do you get these circuits if i had to compare it to something it would be the same way that you got your height you get what you get and if you don't like it sucks to be you circuits work the exact same way you're born with what you're born with and if you're not born with them then that's too fucking bad this is why mages are so diligent in finding the right spouse because it directly influences how many circuits that their child is gonna come out with you don't want your child coming out looking like a buster do you this is why older families are usually stronger because they've been passing down their circuits from generation to generation i mean you've seen it for yourself this is why you have people like Kanev swinging his dick all over the place because he knew that his ancestors had already did all the work all he had to do was show up whereas you have someone like waver and shiro who didn't have these things given to them and really had to grind it out the mud and still turned out a force to be reckoned with okay waver does still kind of suck at being a mage but you get what i mean your line also influences the grade of the circus right 20 magic circuits for ren is not 20 magic circuits for shiro because albeit the muramasa situation ren comes from a prestigious line now it wouldn't be the nasu verse if we weren't allowed to bend the rules a little bit so there are rare cases kire for example has magic circuits that came directly from God as a result of his father's constant worship. His circuits aren't even of his own bloodline. So to be completely honest, we don't know what this man's capable of. And after seeing what he did to that poor tree, that terrifies me. You have circumstances like Waver's student Sveen, who not only has the magic circuits that he's born with, but he also has artificial circuits that are made from his blood vessels and his nerves. But once again, these are anomaly cases that come up every so often. How do we use these circuits? Well, I'll definitely tell you that there's a wrong way to tap into your circuits. See, these magic circuits come with a trigger. You're supposed to turn the trigger on that gives you access to your circuits and leave it on for good. But Shiro specifically was half taught in Magecraft. What we come to find out in the Fate Route was that instead of turning his actual circuits on like he was supposed to, he was using his real nerves in their place and frying his body every time he put them to use. Very dangerous, could possibly kill you. I wouldn't suggest it unless you're an absolute madman each master also have their own mental trigger that's associated directly with that person 
for Shiro, his mental trigger is cocking back the hammer of a gun. Once you've officially turned on your mental trigger, you might feel a little nauseous. It's a part of the game. Get used to it. And now you can use your magecraft at will. Congratulations. At least now you suck with a purpose. I hope you're proud of yourself. See you guys next class.